All right, here we're going to talk about impact of two particles. So what I mean by this is, uh, so for instance, uh, I've got two particles, each traveling with their own momentum, okay? And this is before they impact. Uh, eventually, uh, they start colliding, and there's what we call a deformation impulse uh, between A and B. And again, Newton's third law tells us A hits B with the same amount, B hits A, just in the opposite direct, uh, direction. Okay. At some point, we have maximum deformation, and at this very instant, uh, they're basically acting as a, a single particle with a single velocity that we're going to call V. Okay. Um, now, that's just for a split instant, at which point they have what we call the restitution impulse, where they bounce uh, apart from one another. So the impulse is... Uh, you know, to, to, to go away from one another, uh, that gives us a final uh, set of um, velocities uh, after the impact. So these middle three stages occur in just a split second, okay? Um, and we're going to go through and talk about how, uh, knowing these, I can find, knowing my initial uh, velocities, I can find my final velocity. So the first thing that I know is that momentum is going to be conserved for the two particles together as a system. And that's because, again, uh, these impulses are internal uh, to the system, which is to say they cancel each other if I take the system uh, together. It's internal. So um, the only uh, there are no external impulses. So momentum is going to be conserved for the two particles taken together. Okay. Now, to deal, that, that gives me one equation, but there's still two unknowns. I need another equation, which is the coefficient of restitution. So if I just look at particle A alone, it has an initial uh, momentum. It has, again, uh, uh, a deformation impulse from B onto A, okay, causing a new momentum at my maximum deformation where uh, MA times the velocity of the two going together. Again, I'm just looking at uh, particle A here. I have the same thing for the restitution where I start at this maximum MAV, uh, the maximum deformation, and then I have the restitution impulse that leads me to my final momentum given here. Okay. Now, the ratio of these two impulses, you know, basically taking these two equations, okay, the ratio of these two impulses is my what I call my coefficient of restitution, and that's given here, again, solving for each one of these and dividing them, okay? So that's coefficient of restitution for particle A. I can get a similar equation for particle B, just negative of it. So instead of V minus VA2, it's going to be VB2 minus V. Again, that's because of Newton's third law. My impulses are in the opposite directions here. So all the signs are flipped. So I have... Coefficient of restitution for particle A, coefficient of part particle B. The problem is that I don't really know this instantaneous velocity when they're kind of traveling as one particle. However, I've got two equations, so I can eliminate that and get my coefficient of restitution essentially as the change in the final velocities over the change in the initial velocities. So between these two equations, I now have two equations, two unknowns if I know this coefficient of restitution. Now, the coefficient of restitution, if it's 1, there's no energy loss. It's perfectly elastic. Okay, So uh, there's absolutely no energy loss. It's just a, an, an ideal situation. Um, if the particles stick together, E goes to 0. And what that's basically saying is VA equal, uh, VA2 equals VB2. So uh, if those have the same velocity, the difference between them is 0. They're stuck together. Uh, and we call that a perfectly plastic collision, okay? So E is going to be somewhere between 0 and 1 here, okay? So that's how, if you have just straight line impact, how you can do that. Uh, conserve momentum for the system and then apply the coefficient of restitution equation. Now, for oblique impact, where they come in at an angle shown here, so VA comes in at one angle, VB comes in at another, they bounce off at a third, okay? Uh, along the line of impact, which is basically the line connecting the, the center of my particles. Okay, I, I do what I just did here. Uh, momentum is conserved for the whole system, and then the coefficient of restitution is applied along that line of impact. Okay, so this would be like cosine of theta and cosine of phi shown here. Now, perpendicular to the line of impact, okay, there is no impulse, right? The impulse is directed along the line of impact. V Perpendicular to that, 
there is no impulse. Therefore, for each particle, okay, momentum is conserved, which is essentially saying that my vertical in this picture, my vertical velocity stays constant before and after the impact because there is no impulse or any force uh, in that direction perpendicular to the line of impact. So again, uh, to solve an oblique impact, I use these two equations along the line of impact, conservation of momentum uh, for the whole system and coefficient of restitution. And then perpendicular to the line of impact, momentum is conserved for each particle individually, i.e. the uh, velocities remain constant perpendicular to the line of impact.